Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the Million Dollar Challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at MMTLP and an important reminder in terms of the share count message. We're also going to be looking at George Pelicaros and uh, his presentation. He has stated reasons why this was never carried out. And also he's talked about his shares in Meta Materials. And uh, we're also going to be finishing off by having a look at some important updates for tick symbol AMD. So stay tuned for that, as well as updates for Tesla. So before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first headline here from CNBC, the S&P 500 is wavering. United Health is lifting the down. Uh, so overall market's still a little bit rocky. However, Senator Tony, Tommy Tuberville is certainly one of the best traders out there. He's now currently disclosed a new purchase of uh, Tixamil HUMA. So this is a small biotech company. They make implantable human tissues. Uh, they've also been testing in uh, Ukraine and also looking at combat injuries. And he conveniently and accidentally sits on the Armed Services Committee. So keep an eye out on Tick symbol H-U-M-A and um, in news with regard to Tesla, uh, we know can, we can see here, first of all, the company has uh, identified some restructuring and uh, we know they're growing rapidly. However, the recent delivery figures were not uh, as expected and the job cuts have happened. However, we can see in terms of reports of the cyber trucks that has look to be uh, delayed. One more thing with regard to Tesla, in terms of an update, we are expecting earnings in a week, so keep an eye out on that. I think there could be some unexpected news, so hopefully this is positive. And finally, I'm gonna share with you updates from uh, stock market news about new price targets. So, uh, so just some of these identified here. First of all, AMD, that has got a new price target of $200 uh, and outperform rating. Google is a new price target of uh, $174, so great news for Google, uh, and that's also a buy rating. And uh, HSBC have also upgraded AMD to buy from hold, this time with the $225 price target. One thing I'd now like to share with you is an ironic message from Hester Pierce. So remember, Hester Pierce is one of those people at the SEC that Drew reached out on earlier, and we did share details of this. So what she stated just now is that we at the SEC need to do our part to ensure that the United States of America is uh, a why not kind of place where people are free to pursue their dreams so unfortunately what she doesn't realize it a lot of people outside of the usa and also in the usa basically tried to pursue their dreams but they became a nightmare and what poke hunters has basically stated investors of mmtlp were robbed of their chance to trade and this is directly because of finra who chose to protect the hedge funds and also the large position uh, short positions uh, because obviously the infinite risk that was uh, legally required to take place did not take place so uh, as far as the sec is concerned they need to look at this because obviously uh, what Hester is saying, people need to pursue their dreams, but people also need transparency uh, and fairness in the market. And then another important update from Russ, he's just basically reiterating here in terms of the, the website, justretailinvestors.com. I believe this was uh, offline a few days ago and it is certainly now back on. I have checked it. And the key message is keep the share count going and you can submit your details. I believe they are completely confidential and this will hopefully help us to expose a share imbalance. Let's now have a look at some of those important messages from George Palacara. So first of all, he's responded to a question in terms of uh, from 2021 to 2023. Uh, George acquired a total of 1.925 million shares in Metamaterials at a cost of uh, just in excess of $65,000. George is also uh, disposed a total of 518,000 shares, uh, equaling to just in excess of $2 million. So let's first of all have a, have a look at a response from George. And what he basically stated here is that the disposed shares uh, were the ones that he donated to charity. So they were not for personal gain. And he also had to pay some taxes and exercise his options so message to the footsters who are counting the shares and the dollars should know that basically overall his holdings uh, are still uh, certainly the biggest and uh, he's also uh, been uh, keen to share that he has 
uh, also been purchasing and acquiring and increasing his hold of uh, Metamaterial shares and his last purchase was in August 2023. Uh, in 2022, he told the board that as long as he was the CEO, he would not shares, sell his shares until the company executed the uh, roadmap and exceeded a $5 billion market cap. That was his personal goal. Uh, and also he put that into one of the uh, 10B5 stroke one plans to ensure that there was uh, transparency. So I, I think uh, George is certainly right in what he's saying. And what Otis has also stated is, first of all, uh, going back to the MMTLP presentation, uh, can we have a response on that? But what George has stated here, again, the presentation was ready with the deck and all by management and how he was not allowed to organise a call, deliver it or even speak about it uh, and why uh, give reasons why they were not able to present it. So as far as I'm concerned, that certainly smells of something fishy. The board now needs to have become a lot more transparent and explain why they did not allow George to carry out this presentation. Uh, was it a legal reason? Was it a uh, reason because they it would compromise them? Or was it because of uh, some advice? I finally would like to share with you some important updates for Tiximal AMD. So first of all, shout out here to Stock Market News who posted that their company have just announced the new AMD Ryzen Pro 8040. So this is a trademarked uh, product and the series that will expand its commercial mobility uh, and desktop AI PC portfolio. So they are delivering exceptional productivity and premium AI and connectivity experiences to business users. So hopefully great news there from a revenue point of view. And what Walter has also reminded everybody in, is first of all, HSBC have upgraded them to buy uh, from a previous hold and the new price target of $225 AM and Evercore ISI have initiated an outperform with a price target of $200. So in some of the key analyst comments, they've stated, also stated, uh, first of all, HSB have revised the earnings per share for 24-25 uh, and are looking at a 13% and 31% increase. They also expect uh, AMD to gain 10% market share by 2025 and benefit also from uh, NVIDIA's AI GPU products transition in 2024 and in terms of Evercore what they've stated is they see AMD as a beneficiary of the tectonic shift in computing obviously with AI as well and they're looking for the business to capture greater market share uh, in terms of the server CPUs as well as share in the merchant accelerator market with their MI300 series products and they also believe that AMD is establishing themselves as a solid second source to NVIDIA in merchant accelerators. So if you would like to get information with regard to due diligence and also information with regard to uh, breaking news in terms of stocks and uh, get a copy of our weekly watch list as well as daily stock alerts, details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.